I'm here to talk about coins. They're gonna pump you up. I'm here to find massive gains and bang. And guess what? This video's all out of massive gains. Today's show is sponsored by Steak and Bang. Bang isn't what you drink, it's what you do. Today, I'm gonna go head to head with Alex Becker to find out who has the better picks. Is a guy who makes really good videos, looks good, and makes a lot of jokes? Or is it gonna be me, Bitboy Crypto, five-time winner of the Influencer of the Year voted by the fans? But to grade these picks, we're bringing in a pseudonymous third party, and I'm going to make sure everything is fair. I'm just kidding, it's me, Bitboy. Let's go. All right, guys, we're getting into Alex's video here. And a reminder, at the end of this video, we're going to show you where Alex ranks. We're actually going to be showing you all of the YouTubers that we reviewed so far, where they rank by empirical data and numbers. So I think you'll be surprised where Alex falls. Okay, so I like Alex. I think some of his picks have been really great over the years. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what these are. Seven crypto coins, the 100x by May. Pump soon list, 100x by May. It is April. I believe this list of projects and coins I'm about to get into in this video, I think they're going to pump. I think they're going to unleash the walls. The butt plug will be removed and the 64 GC burritos will be unleashed upon the world. I, I don't really know if a comment's necessary. I guess you can just refer to Alex as the plug from now on. Now, if we're going into AI, there are so many good coins that have already had massive moves in AI. Akash, Nier, Render, all fantastic. But we're not here to get sloppy thirds. We're here to get into the juice. So if I'm gonna start anywhere in AI, I'm gonna start at, this is one of my bigger holds in AI. This thing I think is going to go to bit tensor Render, near levels. And so we get an easy five to 10X here on iOS. It's a fantastic coin. Uh, to lead a, an a AI portfolio. I, I wouldn't say that's one to lead your portfolio with, but I actually, out of all the picks on here, that is one that the chart looks juicy. Uh, I would consider getting in on this one. Uh, I'm gonna do a little more research. I do remember this project from 2021 a little bit, but you know, let's see. I've really isolated my gaming portfolio down to a few coins because I think they get exposure in gaming. We really just need to do this. So I'm all in on Beam. I'm all in on Super. Okay, Beam is sitting at a market cap of 1.5 to 1.7 right now. I think a $10 billion market cap is definitely on the table. I think with Super, I think a $5 billion market cap is definitely on the table by the end of this bull run. Echelon Prime is also just a super duper coin. I don't have it because I don't, again, need my finger in so many honey pots. Echelon Prime, I think, is going to do bonkers numbers. I think it go to a $10 billion market cap. However, Beam is just a must have. Super is a must have. I would consider Echelon Prime to be a must have. I don't have any. And I'm all in on Cedify. I think these coins are going to run very well if we're looking for a 5 to 10x exposure. Cedify is an IDEO launchpad. Stay away from those, in my opinion. I, I'd, I'd be interested to see if Alex is invested in that in a pre sale round or something. That To me, that project doesn't look very good. Maybe it is. Maybe it's great. I mean, the, the numbers don't lie. So we'll see over the next couple of months where this goes if it 100x's by May. But Beam. Absolutely phenomenal project. I definitely think that's a that's a great pick. Echelon Prime, a pick I gave you back in December, December 1st, I told you about Echelon Prime. So you should check that one out. I think it is a great project. And then the other one is super. Now look, Alex and Elio, Elio Trades, they're tight. Uh, this was Elio's project, I believe, right? Super Farm, I think it was. And so I guess they rebranded a little bit and now everybody's talking about it again because here's Alex getting popular again. His video views are going up. So I'd be careful with Super. I don't know what the plan is with it, but you know, I, I just know that it's been a long time and I haven't heard anything about it in forever and now all of a sudden it's back. So we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, like I said, numbers don't lie. And then if I'm going a bit deeper, where I'm gonna be starting at is Citus. I think Citus has a lot of gas left in the tank because they're doing a lot of things similar to Cedify. They're burning coins like crazy. And they're doing all the things you wanna see a coin doing in a bull market. Look, I'm gonna be straight with you. In a bull market, yes, the game and the project and the fundamentals matter. 
But what matters most in a bull market is the marketing and tokenomics combined with the narrative behind it. So they're creating all sorts of extra demand for the coin using launch pads and the burning of their coin. And as you can see, or what the good news is, is a lot of the fully diluted market cap isn't releasing until deep in the 2025. And so we're really stuck with this market cap right here that is constraining and crunching it all together. And so the coin has a lot of fundamentals behind it that are going to allow it, I think, to keep pumping really hard. I mean, Charlie looks okay. I, I agree with him basically on what he said about how things pump, it's tokenomics and narrative narrative and you know so a few other things but the thing about that is is like just because something has a narrative and has some decent tokenomics that also doesn't mean it's going to pump every project in the top 1000 feels like they have a great narrative or they're shaping their narrative right now so this idea that narrative is what's the most important I, I don't think so I think it's what a project is at its core that's the most important and then the way that it's marketed and I, I do agree with him on that so I, I think out of these last picks I, I think he's had some good picks here so far uh, Sidus is one I'm kind of in the middle on Crown. Gambling in crypto, I think, is the strongest use case of gaming, but I, I really got all into gambling a few months ago. But when it comes to gambling cryptos, aka uh, cryptos that enable gambling, I really got all in on it. But the, the market really hasn't picked up on those coins besides Crown. So I've just kind of isolated my entire gambling portfolio with Crown because they're partnering with the Kentucky Derby. They have the best NFT ecosystem. If you ever seen horse racing, you know, you raise horses and breed them and then sell their time and then run them for money. That's all encapsulated in their NFT market. They're partnered with all the right people. They have the most players. They have the most people actively making money playing the game. And so I'm just like, all my chips and gaming are over there. Look, I, I don't know anything about this project. It sounds maybe interesting, but I, I've heard the you know race horse thing a lot of times. I don't know how partnered they are with the Kentucky Derby. I suppose I could look into it a little bit better, but I think something he said is really interesting here. He said, Crown's the only one in this little area here that man, it's ran. Or however he said it, he said, this one, you know, it's got, I think this is the one. Uh, guys, it's not the only project in the gaming industry that's pumped at all. Did you ever see Rollbit? Rollbit absolutely pumped massively a couple times. I don't know where it is today. Maybe it's completely retraced. But we have seen gaming coins go up. So that, to me, that that's a little that's a little lazy of uh, a narrative, if you will, for that coin. It's one that I, I'm probably not putting any money into that thing. But hey, numbers don't lie. Could go to a million. And then my cheekiest gaming coin right now that I'm really heavily in is, is Moon Tropica. Because again, like I stated in Bulls, it's not just about the fundamentals. What is the story behind this coin? How excited are people of it? And how hard is it to get your hands on the coin? What's the supply of the coin? If there are tons of coins flooding in the market, that's going to drive price down. If there are tons of coins leaving the market and it's limited, it's going to drive price up when you combine with the hype and narrative. These are the things that factor into bull markets. So of course, Moon Tropic has a great game, but they're also doing all the same things with their tokenomics, very similar to Sice. And I think they have the loudest meme coin-like uh, community in all of gaming. If you go anywhere, it's not exactly something I like, but their, their community is extremely loud, which why when I was digging around looking for another coin to go deeply in in gaming, this is why I went with Ka. They got the game, they got the players, but they also have a cult. If you look at any coins that have Colts. For example, the reason I hate Cardano is it's a cult, a terrible, terrible, annoying cult full of five foot one manlets that are very upset. They haven't been laid in years. They live exclusively off of eating hemorrhoid cream because their wife will not feed them anymore. The entire family was hoping they would just die off, take their debts with them, but they got into the hemorrhoid cream in the basement and they're not living off of it like cockroaches. That's who makes them up and you just can't get rid of them. That being said, I think the cult of Ka is on its early phase, similar to how Cardano was in its early phase. And I think this can go and do huge numbers for all the reasons I mentioned. So that's where I'm kind of standing at in gaming i want to know if alex is invested in that project <clears throat> because let me tell you why that to me that that little clip there it seems a little suspicious you know moon tropica i've never heard of it a lot of these projects that are very loud it's loud because they're bots and there's like seven people running 48 accounts and it happens all the time and the thing that's really interesting to me about this and look i'm not uh, here's what i'm trying to show you okay i'm not trying to call alex out i don't know this may not be true i'm trying to show you critically what you should be thinking when you're watching these videos this coin has a huge community it means it's everywhere it's barely in the top 600. i don't know any top 600 projects that are not also in the top 100 to 200 that have super viral big communities 
So I don't know what he's talking about there. It's 82 million in market cap, it's pretty good, but it may raise money, I don't know. But the fact is, is that, I want you to pay attention here to what happens in the order of this video. And then remember, Alex is a freaking great YouTuber. He knows exactly how to put stuff. He, I'm not good. I'm not, I blew up because I had good crypto content. I'm not good at YouTube like these guys are. I'm just me, right? I don't know how to do all this pre-planned, you know, these perfect cuts and talk real generic. I don't know how to do that stuff. Make sure you're inserting funny lines and things. I just talk natural. And so the point is, is when you think about these YouTubers, the way these, they lay these videos out for maximum exposure. We're talking about this community for this coin, barely in the top 600, I've never even heard of. And then all of a sudden, right after it, he goes straight into crushing Cardano. Now, what do you think the most viral clip from this video is gonna be. What is gonna be the spike in the views and the retention that people are sending to their friends? It's going to be the part that this random moon tropica that I've never heard of leads right into. Pay attention to the coin that's before and the coin that's after because I don't believe he went off the cuff here and just was randomly talking about Cardano. I think he put that very specifically here for a reason. Now, what reason is it? I'm not sure. Maybe he just figures this is a good time for retention. It could be, it could be as simple as that, is that's the time when most of his retention goes down. Maybe it doesn't have anything to do with the video or with that coin. But this is the way you should be thinking about these coins, these YouTubers are giving you. As of the time of the recording of this video right now, these coins are down negative 2.15%. Just to, to keep it honest with you guys, down negative 2.15%. So uh, these coins don't perform massively. I don't know if they're gonna 100. Now we've had a market downturn, of course, obviously, right? And this video is only a week or two old but you need to think critically. This idea that Alex Becker gives good picks, so put money in all of his picks, bad strategy. Think more critically than that. And when I say, is he invested in it? What I mean is, is he on a list of KOLs or key opinion leaders, they call them, so they don't have to call them influencers, that were invested in this project or have some side deals with this project? Or more than just, hey, I found this on the open market and I bought it. That's a different kind of investment. I'm talking about a pre run investment where maybe he was getting access to prices that you couldn't give access to. And I'm not accusing him of this. I'm not saying this happened. This is the type of thing though, like I said, you should be thinking about in these videos and thinking critically. It's not just, oh, they're invested in these coins. It's there, there's, there's something else attached to it. And a lot of these influencers are, and I don't know what their responsibility is to tell you exactly what level they're invested at, because I don't know. So now let's talk AI. I think AI is about to do stupid things. Now look, there's a few coins we can of course mention. They have really made a huge charge. Recently, uh, Node AI, I think this thing's going to a bill market cap. We're just talking about pumps in this video, just being straight with you. So he goes straight from that coin into Node. The second time he's picked Node GPU in his last two videos. It is an AI project. He's trying to give you some AI coins and, and things like that. So I like, I, I think GPU is good. I did not pre-invest in it. I don't own any, but I think it probably is one of the better picks on here because I see a lot of influencers showing it. I saw Token Metrics sent me a newsletter about it today. So I think GPU is gonna move because people are gonna will it to move probably. So it's probably a good pick. I think Ader didn't mention this last video, and I, we mentioned it a while ago in the AI video, and it's just done huge numbers. Ader has really kind of cooled off from its last move. And it's actually one of those texts that has a basis in actual reality, like a physical product that allows people to connect to the Tor network and essentially distribute processing power and run transactions privately. And so this is gonna be huge as AI and running AI and the privacy behind it becomes a lot more important. And so this is gonna tie in the gaming and protection of identity. When people are playing games, you're gonna be holding a lot of in-game assets where you don't want people to know you have these things or be able to tie it back to you. And they actually just partnered with another project I'm really, really bullish on, ZKML, <clears throat> which is an AI machine learning protocol that allows the user to cover their footprint and actually tag teams with Ader. So you kind of use these in sync with each other. And ZKML is in a really good spot because it's actually smallish compared to some of the other coins. So for example, Ader's at 277. I think it's going to a bill, but I think ZK can easily go to the 250 mark, no problem. So I don't really know anything about the second project, but Ader is another coin that he gave us in the last video, remember? So moves in, we've got Moon Tropica into the Ader rant and the two projects in a row that were in the last video, Ader Protocol. I don't like Ader Protocol. It may turn out, once again, numbers don't lie, may turn out to be an absolutely phenomenal project, but a physical device, it's 2024. You guys think physical devices are the rage? Uh, no, uh, everything is moving to cloud and away from actually having to build and send something out. Now, 
as the world reverses one day because privacy and things like that get so bad. Could we see people move to that and move to privacy coins? Maybe. I like the narrative of gaming assets on there, but I, I don't I don't see much in this one, guys. I don't see much in this one. It is in the top 300, so it's not it is, is not a super low market cap. So we'll have to see. Like I said, I, I, I don't like this pick, and then two times in a row he's given it, and you know makes me wonder what's going on with it. Another excellent coin that's showing no signs of slowing down in AI is gonna be OPSEC. What OPSEC does, it's not based in privacy as much as the other coins are. What it does is, again, there are massive server farms you need to power AI. Using coins to manage and distribute that power makes it's better than Web2. It, it's like a better solution in buying processing power the Web2 way. So that's just why I'm extremely bullish on it because I had an AI company at one time and the hardest thing about it is not just finding the, the processing power, but then getting the contracts and getting the power relayed to you. And then what if it caps out? Like it's not enough. So you have like 10% over here, 20% over here with one company, all these complicated contracts and you don't need access to the power 24 seven. And so it can get really expensive because some require you to hold the power for the entire month or have a minimum amount of power. It just doesn't work very well when people are paying with credit cards and contracts and everything it just is so much better when doing and being done through web3 so that's why i'm crazy bullish on that another coin that was in the last video so you're starting to see these same coins over and over and over again it gives you seven in the title but then it gives you much more than that and it keeps packing these in here that were in the last video it's a little strange now just to be clear if a, a person picks the same coin in multiple videos it gets a different grade and percentage for every one because of the price when they publish the video is what we go with. And then finally, Destro, I think, like I said last video, is just a gem of gems. I think this is going to do Akash numbers. I think it has stronger narrative than even if we go back to the big chart. I think this one can go multi-billion. So I'm really, really a big Destro fan. I think it can get up to fetch render numbers at least the kosh numbers that's one i'm really really like uh, that I, I already said it was a gem of gens last video it's very similar to a kosh i think just more powerful and so that's a really juicy ai coin destro one i i also don't know a lot about but also ranked pretty low on on market cap i mean the market cap was ranking it outside of where it looked like it should be sitting so what that's communicating to you is coin market cap doesn't trust those numbers doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it for sure it just means they don't trust it so next we have conducts another project that was in the last video it's his project stuffing in this video it looks like to me <clears throat> maybe to hammer home these uh, maybe because he's involved maybe he's not i don't know but what, what i do know is conducts does also looks like a terrible project like conducts does not look good once again maybe it pumps pumps sometimes have no rhyme or reason and when i say terrible project i just don't see why he keeps going in on this one i i don't get it like I, what I want to know is what low cap gym under $100 million in market cap did Alex Becker find, okay, that he was not already invested in? That's what I want to know. And, and, and I want those picks. And it, the thing is, is it's hard to know. It's impossible to know which ones. And that makes it really hard as a viewer of YouTube, crypto YouTube, trying to determine what's going on. Because obviously when you see the, that someone putting a very low ranked coin over and over and over again, they keep bringing it up. They either have a lot of money in it or they're tied to it. Or there's also the chance they did deep research. They discovered it or they discovered it. Maybe it got tipped onto it from somebody else, but they just really believe that this project is going to moon so hard. They want to be tied to it. And I think I have had lots of coins in my past that have been like that, that I want to be tied to because they're, they're so, uh, I think they're going to do really well. And I may not even own any. Uh, so <clears throat> I, think, I think that could be going on here as well, but I don't know. I don't see what he sees about this project that seems to separate it in this niche. Then of course we got to talk about conducts. This is a really weird AI coin because it ties into NFTs, gaming, and AI all together, which is why I'm, I'm really into it. Uh, that being said, it's at a lower market cap, kind of similar to ZKML. So if you're looking for like the bigger, pumpier gains, if we get another run up, those are the two coins that are going to be in in the AI coin, ZKML and Conduct. are so just the smaller market caps. That being said, I think this is going to come charge back bigly. It, I think it's going to be super high in demand. So I think this is going to do crazy well and is frankly, in my opinion, really undervalued right now. Okay. So then he goes on to name a few that are about to hit the market. Be careful with IDOs. Be careful with things that are about to hit the market. A lot of these are in, envelopes are and VC driven. As soon as they launch, 
than go down. You're much better to find a floor and get in. It's much less risky than it is just jumping into these things because Alex tells you to. So at this point, I think the best thing to do is let's just go ahead and jump into the numbers. We'll see how Alex's video did here and then we'll see how everybody else's videos this week ranked. We've got some new YouTubers on the top. Uh, we don't even have those videos done yet. We're gonna show you, so check it out. All right, guys, uh, we just looked at Alex's picks. Let's go ahead and see where he ranks among everybody else. Sunday nights, we're gonna do this video where, or on Sundays at least, where I'm gonna rank everybody for the week. We'll see how it changes things. We'll pop up the latest S tier list. This was from last week. We have added some new YouTubers. As you will see, I was at the top of the list last week. Definitely had some YouTubers and knocked off my picks that we had ranked last week for sure. So definitely got some guys coming in with some good percents. Highlights of the week, okay? Highlights of the week. Crypto John, uh, coming in, uh, hey, look, Crypto John, I think his picks are the best on this list. However, in the two weeks since he picked them, we've had a market crash and it's gone down. He's only in 9% gains. Uh, but I think Crypto John's picks are probably the best on the entire list. We got two videos we haven't actually done the reviews for with Craig Proko and Data Dash, but their numbers were very good. These were coins from last year they picked. Going back to you know November last year, right when everything started popping off. So you just picked three coins each, but very good. Joe Paris has showed, showed you, and Lark showed you last week, a great strategy for YouTubers is simply just post the top coins. Post the top 10 altcoins, that video is gonna perform well. The numbers are gonna perform better than a lot of other ones. You're not gonna have a major, major, major bumper, maybe so on or something like that, or something that comes in there as the top 10 later, but you know, there you go. Brian Young and Alex Becker, I mean, these guys are seen as the two guys that, man, every coin these big guys pick, amazing, mainstream people love these people. Guys, their picks are not proven to be that great. Guys, Alex coming in today with his average between his negative 5% video and negative half a percent video or whatever it was, he's coming in at minus 2.12% so far. Uh, and then Altcoin Daily moving down the list still, they're, they're, you know, kind of generic top picks. Hasn't worked out yet, but I think it will. I think they'll come up on the list. So guys, I also want to say Crypto Banner, I, I fixed the negative thing. So they are not no longer negative 361%. We did fix it to match it. Guys, here we are, the four coins that Crypto Banter had picked, you would have a total of negative 61% returns on those four coins. Going one that's down 92%. Yeah, guys, they just did this video a week ago. <laughs> like, four coins, all down massively. Before we fixed the PL number, you had three that were down over 100%. And, it, and how does that work? In arithmetic, instead of PL, if you have a price of something that's six dollars 50 percent of that is three dollars so if the price drops from six dollars to three dollars in a sense if you were going the other way it's 100 percent, right in the excel spreadsheet I said, if you got a great pnl for me i'll put it down but we we converted some numbers and we figured out what it was and because there was only one channel that had negative numbers uh, that had massively negative numbers and it was a crypto banner video we're gonna give them another shot we're gonna do another video to give them a better shot to increase this but man they are starting off uh, very 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 bad these coins uh, we can talk about another time i'm telling you they had four meme coins and they are all four disasters I'm not trying to pick on them it is what it is so here we go guys the new youtuber ranking list guys i did want to say also we did take ben armstrong and i ranked all of my videos that i all of my top coins videos that i've done on this channel there was one that i deleted we're very transparent about this it said top three coins it was me and aj and cassie and we all gave one coin and it was from when we were trying to debut the new show and the audio was terrible the coin was trade master so if you want for transparency purpose there it was um one of my number one micro caps but the point is is that for these purposes, I've now ranked all of my videos. So that will give me some advantages in some areas and some disadvantages in other areas. But I think you guys are going to see my picks are pretty strong. Here we go, guys. The average YouTuber right now that you're watching uh, is for what we've ranked is giving you 21.9, almost 22% returns. Crypto Banner comes in on the F tier, minus 61.41%. Altcoin Daily, my buddies, coming in on the D tier, minus 6.96%. Alex Becker, y'all's favorite YouTuber. I mean, look, I like Alex. I don't want you guys to ever hear me wrong on this. I think he's a great YouTuber. Minus 2.12% average. We rank both of his videos and combine the average. Brian Young, another guy you guys absolutely love. 
2.15% gains. Why? They're watering these down with crappy picks, guys. Uh, that's why. They've got some great ones, and they've got some crappy ones, and that's what's really turned it up. Max Mayer, I was surprised. This is, I think he's got Pendle. has made me some money. I got him Pendle because of him. 2.31%. Crypto John, well, I would need to give you guys these tiers. So anything more than minus 10%, uh, or maybe minus 20%, you're getting an F. The C tier is going to be anything positive up to 10%. So Brian Young, Max Mayer, and Crypto John. Crypto John pushing. This is a dynamic number. He could easily go above 10% and, and go to the B tier here very soon. Uh, Lark coming in on the B tier at plus 14%. Crypto's R Us, George, the B tier with 21.47% with two picks from the very beginning of the year. A little fudging on that, but we'll see. Joe Paris picking all the top coins. Coming at 39.39%. So anything above, I'm going to say 33%. If you're above 33%. You'll go on the A tier. Uh, look, the S tier is just reserved for the top three. Uh, S tier is just reserved for the top three. So if you get over 33% gains, you can go on the A tier. We have Joe Paris picking all the top 10 altcoins outside of Bitcoin or even pick Bitcoin. 39.39% gains. Can't argue with it. So Coin Bureau coming in, this is his big, you know, this is December 2023, and he's actually giving you picks here. He doesn't really give a lot of picks and reviews a lot of coins. You know, there's speculation return. Uh, coming in pretty good grade though. A, 39.97%. I expect that to even out a little bit with some of these other guys. Uh, then we got on the S tier, the top three reserve for only the top three YouTubers. We have Data Dash coming in at 67.41%. I, I will do a quick review of some of these videos here. Uh, and Craig Perocco coming in S tier with 75.87%. We'll, we'll do those this week. And then the number one YouTuber coming in with S grade. That's right, Ben Armstrong. Uh, come in 82.48%. And uh, what I would tell you guys, if you think there is anything fudged about these numbers, I challenge you, go find a Top Coins video on my channel. There's one video they listed a bunch of Solana coins, but even some of those, I don't even really, I was just telling you what's in the ecosystem. That's the only video that I think that I didn't put in that could be misconstrued because some of those in the video, I'm like, I don't get these. But some of them were really good picks and I want to use it. But other ones is like, ah, I, I actually, I realized that watching the video, these aren't actually picks. This is literally me going over all the coins in the Solana ecosystem that I think maybe could be interesting or whatever. So you guys will see, I mean, uh, these picks uh, that I've got, I've got one video. I, I, I challenge anybody. I challenge anybody to find me a video on YouTube that has a minimum of five coins during this bull run that is better than the five coins that I gave you guys. Let's see when this was. Top five coins for December 1st. Sui, 172% gains. Sai, 205% gains. Rio, almost 300% gains. Flare Network, 249% gains. It's actually 249.99, 250 is what we call that. Echelon Prime, and one Alex Becker loves. I gave it to you back in freaking December 1st. 195% gains for an average in that video of the five coins for December, 100 and 82.58%. Find me a better video than that. Find me one. Anyways, guys, uh, look, I'm learning a lot about how these YouTubers are making these videos. I think I'm going to probably pick up some of their tricks, and we're going to see how they work. Uh, we're going to see, is it the picks that do well, or is it just the style of the video and the way that these guys say what they say? Uh, because that's going to be really interesting. I've noticed a total shift on YouTube away from pure crypto YouTubers to financial guys who are better, or, or to guru guys that are better at YouTube than the rest of us. They're great YouTubers, and they've gotten into crypto because there's a lot of money. So we need to take a look at that. But there's your tier. You guys see, still coming on top. I, I want somebody to knock me off, and these are my permanent numbers now. They'll be dynamic, of course, as these prices change. But I, I'll only add new ones. I've got all mine going back from back to November when I gave the first one, when I started this new channel, BitBoy Crypto. V2. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys like the series, let me know which YouTubers you want me to review. Drop it down below. Uh, I got a lot of requests to review Jerry Banfield. Uh, his I, his portfolio is ICP only. So unfortunately, Jerry, sorry, you are Banfield-ed from the list. Be blessed, boy out.